So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch. So I did this outfit a few days ago, but most of you thought it came with the white joggers, but it didn't. But this one, you're going to be able to get it with the black joggers. So you don't need to own the black joggers to do this glitch because the glitch is going to give you the black joggers. So remember that with the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you start it, go ahead and put on the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, go to the ammunition or go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. Doesn't matter which earpiece you buy, just buy a rebreather or an earpiece from ammunition. Once you're ready to start the glitch, just come over here to the clothing store, put your spawn location on last location, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to swap character. So when you get in here, all you're going to want to do is just go over to your second character and under your second character, it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and then two new characters are going to come in and then you're going to get the option that says edit for your second character. So if you don't see the edit option at first, just delete that second character and the two new characters come in, you're going to see the edit option. But once you see the edit option, just go ahead and hit edit on your second character and when he or she is going, you're going to get this um, alert screen right here it's gonna ask you if you want to copy your stuff over you just want to go ahead and accept it after you accept it and you get inside of here all you want to do is just go ahead and if your second character end up being a male just go ahead and change it into a female but for sort of your female just go ahead and leave it as a female go ahead and save and continue go ahead and make a random name for it and then go ahead and take the picture once you take the picture and it's loading it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer for me it doesn't play it but for some of you guys it might play so whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. So when you get spawned inside a new session, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores inside of your session. If you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you have to do is just go ahead and switch sessions or find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be inside of that new session. So if you do see a clothing store, just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one. But if you don't see any clothing stores, all you have to do is just go ahead and find a new session or switch sessions and then the clothing stores are going to appear inside of that new session. So once you've made your way over here to the clothing store, all you want to do is just go ahead and make your way over to the top section, go to leather jackets and purchase the blue logo JC jacket. So just come over here to the top section, go to leather jackets and purchase the blue JC logo jacket. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. After you buy it, just go ahead and back out, stay in the top section, go to sport tops and buy the white mixed baseball tee. So just come to the sport tops and purchase the white mixed baseball team. Who? So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. Oh. After you have it, just go ahead and back out. Go to the pants section, go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. So just come over here to the pants section, go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. Once you have that, just go ahead and back out, go to the shoes, go to high heels and purchase the charcoal platforms, which should be towards the bottom. So just go to the shoes, come to the high heels and purchase the charcoal platforms. So those right there, after you have it, um, 
For this outfit, you also want to go over to accessories and take off your earrings and buy the black woolen gloves. I forgot to do it, but I'm going to do it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So um, this first part, I forgot to do it, but um, when I was making the second outfit, I had remembered to do it. So all you have to do is just go ahead and buy the black woolen gloves and take off your earrings before you save the outfit. And when you save it, make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So for the second outfit, just go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Come to the sport tops and buy the gray racer bag. So just come over here to the um, tops, come to sport tops and purchase the gray racer bag. So this one right here, once you have that, just go ahead and back out, go to the utility vest and purchase the stealth utility vest. And it should be the last utility vest. So just come over here to the utility vest and purchase the stealth utility vest. Once you have that, just go ahead and make your way over to the um, accessories. Go to the earrings and if your female character has any earrings on, just go ahead and take them off because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings. So just go ahead and take off any earrings of your female character. And after you take off your earrings, go to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves, which should be number four. So just come over to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves. And once you have that, just go ahead and come save this outfit underneath of the first outfit. So this is going to be your second outfit. So just go ahead and come save this outfit right underneath of your first outfit. Alright, so right now, this is what I was talking about a few minutes ago when I said I forgot to take off the earrings of my first outfit and forgot to buy the black woolen gloves. So if you had also forgot to do it or didn't do it or were waiting for me to do it, this is what I'm talking about. Just go ahead and take off the earrings of your first outfit and buy the um, black woolen gloves, which are going to be towards the bottom also. So this is all for the first outfit. So if, if you didn't do this for your first outfit, just go ahead and do it right now like I'm doing because I said I forgot to do it. So if you guys didn't do it, just go ahead and come do it. And when you save it, just go ahead and save it back inside the first slot. Just save it over the first outfit. Once you have that for the last outfit, just go ahead and make your way over to the um, top section. Come to the sport jackets and purchase a sea green puffer jacket, which is number 99. So just come over here to the sport jackets and purchase the sea green puffer jacket. So this right here, just go ahead and buy that. After you have that, just go ahead and back out. Go to the bustiers and purchase the teal lace bustier. So just come over here to the bustiers and purchase the teal laced bustier. So this one right there, just go ahead and buy that. After you have that, just go ahead and make your way over to the hats. Go to canvas hats and purchase the gray plate canvas hat. Now this is for if you want checkerboard, um, a checkerboard hat. So if you don't want no checkerboard hat, then don't buy this. But if you want the checkerboard hat on your outfit, then just go ahead and buy the gray plate canvas hat. And now the next one, the next component is going to be for um, checkerboard glasses. So if you want checkerboard glasses on the outfit, just go ahead and go to the casual glasses and buy the copper marbles. If you don't want checkerboard glasses, then you don't have to buy this for the outfit. But if you do want the checkerboard um, glasses for the outfit, just go ahead and purchase the copper marbles. Once you have that, just go ahead and come save this outfit. And when you save it, this is going to be your third outfit. And so just go ahead and come save this right underneath of your second outfit. Once you saved it, just go ahead and hit B, go to the standard outfits and purchase the Chica outfit. So just go ahead and back out, go to standard outfits and purchase the Chica outfit. Once you have that, just go ahead and completely back out, hit your pause button, go to online and go inside of creator. When you get loaded inside the creator, go ahead and click on create a race and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, just go ahead and click on race details, go ahead and click on the title and fill out the description. After you fill out the title and description, just go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and put the route type on point to point. Once you have that, just go ahead and hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, hit B, click on placement, click on place trigger. Go ahead and place down your trigger and then back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it back out of that and then click on the checkpoints. Go ahead and place down the checkpoints. Now when you're making your race, it has to be 0.62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made it 0.62 miles or longer, 
just hit B twice and it's gonna give you the option to test out your race and you just wanna go ahead and test it out. So when you finish your race, you're gonna get that completed alert. You just wanna go ahead and accept it. After you load it, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online and go inside of choose character or click on choose character. Once you load inside of here, all you want to do is just go over to your second character and you just want to delete her. So make sure you go over to your second character. You don't want to delete your main character by accident, go over to your second character, hit delete on her. It's going to ask you to type in delete to confirm it. You just want to go ahead and do that. After you delete your second character, two, two new characters are going to come in. And from here, all you want to do is just hit B so the game takes you into single player. So just hit B right here so you get taken into single player. So when you get into single player, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GT online, just go inside of an invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is just going inside of an invite only session. When you get loaded inside of your session, first thing you want to do is just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't mess up when you're trying to merge your other outfits. Now, after you save the outfit, just go ahead and make your way over to the pants section. Go to the utility pants and purchase the black heist pants. And those are going to give you the black joggers. Just come over here to the pants. Go to the utility pants and purchase the black heist pants. And I'm also gonna go ahead and take um give my character his top back so it doesn't transfer the racing gloves before people say that they didn't get it to or something like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give my character his um torso back and his arms. So once you have the black heist pants, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rock star created, go to versus and start up crooked cops. When you start up crooked cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random to join you. So make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work. So just go ahead and put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random to join. So when you get inside of here, just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad three times. And you're going to have this exact same outfit right here with the um, black joggers, but you're not going to be able to see it yet. So you load inside of the um, job. So from here, just go ahead and ready up. So when you're inside the mission, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up the interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either your rebreather or your earpiece. Once you put on the rebreather or your earpiece, just go ahead and um, open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you load inside of your session, first thing you want to do is go ahead and come save the outfit. So when you save the outfit, you get to keep it into yours and you can go ahead and delete the three components. Unless you want to put the um, checkerboard stuff on any other joggers, but if you don't want to put them on any, um, any other joggers, just go ahead and delete the three components. So just go ahead and make sure you save the outfit. 
so that's gonna be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on it don't forget to um share it subscribe if you already haven't and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on any other videos